about some 10 to 15 mm -hmm. kilometers walk. Mm. So I just used to walk and because at the area we have mm. some many rivers. Mm. I was even sometimes tempted, now I just think to throw myself to the rivers mm. and I just be drowned because I just hated the fact that I am sent home mm. and my fellow students whom we compete, mm. they are back to school learning and I'm hoping that in the next exam I want to win them. Mm -hmm. So I felt it to be somehow very difficult for me, mm -hmm. but I just took it and continued. Mm -hmm. Then I used to leave the school late in the evening, that is sometimes 8 mm -hmm. p.m., mm -hmm. some se sometimes 7.30. I was left in school learning. Mm -hmm. So I just request because uh, according to the school fees that I, the schools I chose, mm -hmm. the fees seems to be somehow very difficult and somehow very huge. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just request mm. if someone was a good at it, just to supply something mm. according to the ability mm. and the God would bless them. You need their support, right? Yeah. very good morning, a very good afternoon, a very good evening, wherever you are watching us from. This is Semana Edimax at Jalango TV, where we bring you hot stories from all corners of life. And besides me, I am with Daniel Molly. Daniel finished form for last year with very good, with a very good grade, but she has, he has been through so many challenges. Maybe before we move on to Daniel, allow me to introduce my director, who is Super, super director, Daya. Karibu sana, Daniel. Thank you. Mm, welcome so much to Jalango TV. We are so happy to have you. I am highly appreciated to mm. have been hosted on today. Mm -hmm. And as previously said, mm. my name is Daniel mm -hmm. Mugamuli, mm -hmm. uh, a former Form 4 Liver. Mm -hmm. We are you said you finished Form 4 last year? Yes. Mm -hmm. the and the name of the school? Redeeming Hope High School. No, Redeeming Hope High School. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So, I just thank God because of this grade. Mm. Because once they say that a journey from Form 1 to Form 4 mm. sometimes may look to be a long journey. Mm. But through your efforts mm. and through the God's mercies, mm. they surely come to an end. Mm. And through your commitment, mm to come to succeed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe you can just tell us what you've gone through, what really happened, or what it really took to be where you are right now. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, I studied in a public school mm -hmm. uh, to finish my class eight, mm -hmm. where I scored uh, 363 marks. Mm -hmm. That was good. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Then the school choice, I was chosen to join Momboni mm -hmm. School, that is an extra county school, mm -hmm. where due to the lack of fees, mm -hmm. the family problems, mm -hmm. I just managed to move to average small school, mm -hmm. that is a sub-county school, mm -hmm. that was called Moani, mm -hmm. mixed, where I joined from one. So the journey was not such a soft journey because I remember my sister mm. was the one who borrowed some 15,000 to buy the requirements and so to pay a small bit of the school fees for us to join. Mm. So I joined the Form 1, that is, well, that was day 28, mm. that was January 2020. Mm. We studied for the half term, then we went for the half term, and after the half term, mm. that is when the coronavirus arrived and then we got a break mm. till when we joined back mm. 2021 mm. to finish the 
system here mm -hmm. where we continue the second term mm -hmm. and now the second term that is when the fees become somehow very difficult to be paid. Mm -hmm. I remember in several cases I was sent for school fees mm -hmm. and many a times mm -hmm. since the journey was so long I just used to walk mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. where, where do you, where were you staying? I was staying to my aunt's place. Uh, where? That is in McQueen County. Oh, in McQueen. Yeah. So it was far from where you were schooling? Yeah, about some 10 to 15 mm -hmm. kilometers walk. Mm. So I just used to walk. And because at the area, we have mm. some many rivers. Mm. I was even sometimes tempted, now I just think to throw myself to the rivers mm. and I just be drowned because I just hated the fact that I am sent home mm. and my fellow students whom we compete, mm. they are back to school learning. And I'm hoping that in the next exam, I want to win them. Mm -hmm. So I felt it to be somehow very difficult for me, mm -hmm. but I just took it and continued. Mm -hmm. Then I continued with the system that I be sent home, mm -hmm. two weeks, three weeks, I'm back to school, mm -hmm. I find the syllabus is gone, mm -hmm. I just try to catch up. So when I finished my form two, mm -hmm. that is when now the journey became so tough mm -hmm. that I could not be back. I had a balance of 53,370 mm. shillings. Mm. So my parents were incapable un to mm. make it. Mm. So my mom decided to look for a school that mm. had a small pay, mm. but it, she was unable. Mm. So my sister talked to the director, mm. where they had a talk, mm. and then the director decided that to have me in the school mm. and to stand for my school. Mm -hmm to my schooling from Form 3 mm. to Form 4. Mm. Now, also to the Form 3 and Form 4 journey. Now, now that one is a different school, no? from no. Form 3? Yeah, now that is Redeeming Hope. Oh, Redeeming Hope. Yeah. And Redeeming Hope is in Nairobi? Yes. Where specifically? That is in Tennessee, Dono. Okay, all right. Now, how did you get yourself from Ukambani to Nairobi? Now, my sister used to work in a place where mm. they used to admit girls, mm. where they call the team, mm. Girls Dream, mm. where they used to take girls and they just try to pay their fees. Mm. So the principal used to, to have the, some of the children, mm. the girls, being taken to the place and they are choosing mm. to be paid for school fees for a certain period. Mm. So that is where they met with the principal. Mm. Then they shared about the story. Uh, the sister talked with the principal mm. about how he had a brother mm. and how they used how I was struggling with the education. Mm. So she pleaded with the principal mm. that if she could manage to have me mm. in the school mm -hmm. and just to try on the beach where she could, mm. then I just finished the school. Mm. Yeah. That must be a very good uh, principal. What is the name of that principal? Mr. Nandwa. Mr. Nandwa. Wow, big up Mr. Nandwa for the good job that uh, you are doing. Now you finished Form 4 at, uh, you said the name of the school is? Eh? Redeeming Hope High School. Uh, Redeeming Hope. And you managed to, to get which grade? A B minus. A B minus. Huh? Now what are you doing currently? Currently, I'm in the school where I studied at Redeeming Hope, where I try to help the students mm -hmm. to maneuver through the academics, mm -hmm. through several subjects that is mathematics, chemistry and geography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, you are a teacher. Yeah, I have the students. And maybe are you planning to be a teacher in future? Yes, I'm planning to be a teacher of mathematics chemistry. Mm -hmm. And uh, have you applied for university to enroll in uh, education? Yeah, during the portal mm -hmm. opening, mm -hmm. I tried to open my courses portal. Mm -hmm. We after many trials, finally it came to be open. Mm -hmm. And now I plan for teaching for mathematics chemistry. Mm. And have you been selected yet? Not yet. The applications, uh, the revisions are still ongoing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to talk, I want us to talk about uh, the relationship between you and your parents right now. How is it? Uh, the relationship between mm. my parents and I, mm. uh, for now, my mom stays at the up country mm. and my dad is in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So for now... He's I, working, your dad? My dad, yes, is working. He's the one that uh, you stays with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now my dad mm. is having mm. 
a small job where she where it trims some flowers. Mm. What kind of job? It's good so that maybe someone out there might be willing to help you, but at a same time, your dad is working. Anafanya kazi gani, your dad? My dad just trims some flowers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a gardener? Yeah, a gardener. Mm -hmm. Where sometimes you get the job is not there. Mm -hmm. So he has to stay at home and wait for another thing to do. Mm -hmm. Maybe just selling some water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is how we try to maneuver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, for the job that you are doing right now, are you being paid something small? For now, the principal, the director, mm. tries to help me whenever I have some little mm. challenges. I just approach him mm -hmm. and she tries to solve the solution. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Wow. And uh, now, what is your plan right now? What plan do you have? For now, I'm just thinking how for, because I'm doing the helping the students on how to do the mathematics chemistry, mm. and now for now I'm getting the out out the students to relate with the students, mm. and because I'm going to do the academic, particularly education of mathematics chemistry, I try to know how the students behave, mm -hmm. how a teacher should relate to the students, mm. and how do you ensure that the students are catching up with the concepts you are giving unto them. Mm -hmm. So because I'm planning to do the academics, mm. I just want to have the, the relation with them mm. and know how to maneuver with the problems that rise between the mm. students. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you applied for which colleges? I applied for Maseno. Mm -hmm. I applied also for Kenya Water University. Mm -hmm. I also applied for Machakos University. Mm -hmm. yeah. How old are you? I'm only 17 years old. 17 years old and very bright, very brilliant. So you've said that you want to be a teacher yeah. in future. Yeah. What do you like about that career? One fact I like about the career mm. is because just because I have seen, mm. I've been helped by the principal, the director, to maneuver through my academics from three, from four. Mm. Now I generated the art that I need also to help some more students mm -hmm. to catch up the concepts mm. and to help them have good grades and have their certificates well, mm. so as to be responsible mm. people in the society. Mm -hmm. When you grow up, suppose God helps you and I believe God will do it, you go to university, you get that degree, you get that job, what will you do to the society? One thing, I'll ensure that if it is a concept that I've taught to the students, mm. if I just chase a student mm. has not understood the concept. Mm. I just ensure I commit myself mm. and help that particular student. Mm. I solve the question, I give him more tests mm. and ensure that the concept has really stuck mm. unto the mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many were you born at your home? We are four in number. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let us talk about uh, the main reason of you sharing this story. Uh, people will watch this story, you never know. You can't underestimate where the video will, uh, will reach. What do you want people to do for you, or what is the main reason of you sharing this story? Uh, for me to share this story, number one, it is just an encouragement to other people mm. that it is good to pull up their socks mm. and be determined for their goals. Mm -hmm. Because at many times, I used to find that the journey to come to school, because sometimes I lack the fear to come to school, mm. and I used to walk some seven kilometers mm -hmm. to walk and one thing i ensured mm -hmm. by 5 30 mm -hmm. by 6 i'm always in school to start. Mm -hmm. then i used to leave the school late in the evening that is sometimes 8 mm -hmm. p.m mm -hmm. some, sometimes 7 30. i was left in school learning mm -hmm. so i just request because uh, according to the school fees that i the schools i chose mm -hmm. the fees seems to be somehow very difficult and somehow very huge mm -hmm. Uh, I just request mm. if someone was uh, good at it, just to supply something mm. according to the ability mm. and the God would bless them. You need their support, right? Yeah. And uh, if someone is uh, ready to support you, how will they reach you? Uh, for now, mm. they can reach my director, mm -hmm. whom we work with, mm -hmm. and there is the colleague mm -hmm. and one of my mentors, mm. so they can reach the director mm. through their do its number. You have the number of the director? Yes. Maybe you can just shout it out. So the number for the director mm. 0729 mm. 255640. Mm -hmm. Okay, now as we wind up, wh whom do you think 
uh, that uh, has really held your hand into this journey? For this journey, number one, I'd like to thank my sister Irene. Mm. Um, she has been very close to me mm. through the Form 3, Form 4. Mm. She hosted me to her house mm. where I've stayed for the period. Mm. And the next person is my principal, Mr. Nando, mm. who took charge for my school fees, for my learning, mm. for many things, mm. including even my uniforms. Mm. He bought them for me. Mm. So I like to thank him very much. Mm. What else can you do apart from uh, teaching? Do you have any other talent, any skill? Okay, I also love to do the likes of engineering, mm -hmm. about the electronics, mm. yeah, mm. dealing with the computers, securities, mm. ICT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love to deal with the computer systems. Mm. Then why did you choose education over <laughs> ICT? <laughs> One of the reasons made me to choose education over ICT mm. is because I just wanted to help some few students mm. to come up from their, their ample backgrounds mm. and raise them to be responsible people mm. by passing the knowledge unto them. That's great. Now you can talk to your principal, your sister, the people that you feel have been besides you. Just talk to them. So I thank my sister Irene, wherever you are, I thank you for this chance. You just helped me to maneuver through the system. You have been my really guardian. Mm. Even at most, you used to play as my mom. Mm. You guide me, you encourage me. Mm. You, even I remember when I scored the grade, mm. you used to tell me that I was more than that because you used to trust me. I thank you very much. And my principal, thank you for the chance you hosted for me. Mm. Thank you. I hope we shall continue. God blessing me. Mm. We shall come and appreciate Hyde. Mm. Mm. Wow, thank you so much. And we also say as Jalango TV team that may God bless them so much for those who supported you in your education. And we pray that God takes you higher levels. And maybe guys, you are out there, you want to support this boy, let us support him. Just support him, he has given you the number. Just support him, let him go to school, let him get that course that he wants to get. And may God, and God will bless you so much. Thank you, Daniel, for having a word with us here at Jalango TV and we look forward to following up on how you will be doing. So, Director, Yes. Eh, tumezungumza na kijana, amesema kwamba umemshika mkono. Maybe tu kabla tuendelee unaweza tu ambia wana Jalango TV unaitwaje? Thank you so much for this opportunity mm. from Jalango TV. Mm. My name is Fred Nandwa. Mm the director mm. of Gaming Hope mm. Schools mm. Uh, in Donholm, Kenya State. Mm. Yeah. Maybe you can uh, just tell us uh, your relationship with uh, Daniel. Uh, he's a very uh, good rapport uh, I've had with him. Mm. Daniel has been my student for the last two years. Mm. I've been his principal and he's been a good student here. Mm -hmm. And he did his exam last year mm. and he passed uh, of course, he went to join university. Mm. Yeah. Maybe why did you just uh, pick on Daniel? There are so many other students who are going through the same. Yani, I want a school fees. They don't know. They, they don't know what to do. But why Daniel? Okay, that's a, that's a very good question. Uh, Daniel, when I heard of the story, mm. uh, I did a lot of investigation, mm -hmm. the background, mm -hmm. and I found that indeed uh, he had struggled a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I looked at his performance in primary. Mm. He had scored over 350 marks. Mm. And he just lacked, he lacked someone who could hold his hand so that he can achieve his uh, dream. Mm. So the, beside being good in academic, mm. he was so disciplined, uh, very obedient. Mm. And those are the virtues and the values that uh, I was looking in him. Mm. So I, I offered myself to give a platform mm. so that he can continue to achieve the dream that mm. he had mm -hmm. yeah maybe do you have other students that you've supported the same case of daniel yeah i've uh, over around uh, 40 students mm. that i'm supporting currently in this school mm -hmm. that are, are having challenges mm. and when they come to this school i receive them as the way they are mm. some come here without school fees without uniform they can't even have lunch Mm. So I take the entire burden mm. uh, because I believe that the uh, Bible says that uh, uh, 
do not give up in doing good mm. for in due time god will lift you up sure. so i don't give up i know people are watching and other people god will send one day one time mm. they're going to join me so we can help the needy cases mm. uh, in this school mm. beside that we also have the other street children mm -hmm. who are schooling here. Mm. I think we have, uh, we have seen some of them, mm. Yalangu TV. Mm. Uh, we have seen some of them in Form 1. Mm. They come from here, they go to the street. So I have, I'm helping a good number mm -hmm. of uh, children. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe, do you have sponsors who sponsor you? Because uh, uh, catering for 40 students is not a joke, especially in Nairobi here. It's a no joke. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a, a good question. Mm. People think that uh, private schools, uh, we are mm -hmm. rich. Mm -hmm. Or when, when they hear the word private school, they think we are making money. Mm -hmm. But I can say it's about the heart of a person. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that uh, change is brought by one person. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I offered myself, I want to become the first to change people. Mm -hmm. So as per now, we don't have anybody who is supporting us. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just coming to school, they're learning for free. So. I find a challenge to raise the money that I can pay teachers mm. and of course uh, run the school gender the way it's got to be run. Mm. So there are no sponsors, mm. but I, I know our sponsor is nice God. Mm. He has given us life mm. and a platform to mm. educate these young children. Mm -hmm. yeah. You say that uh, you, you have that heart huh, of supporting children. Mm. Maybe are you product of the same? You've gone through the same? Wow. Mm. <laughs> That's a good question. Mm. Uh, I school in a boarding school, uh, and uh, at some point I had challenges of fees. Mm. So that one, uh, I swear to God that one day, mm. having gone through tough, mm. you know, tough life in high school, mm. I I promise God that one day if I if I become a leader somewhere mm. and mm. be in charge of an institution, mm -hmm. I'll give people a chance to be educated mm -hmm. because I went through a lot at some point, no. Uh, I like school feast, but God saw me through, mm. and that's why today is like I'm giving back to the society. Mm. So I'm a product of being helped by God, mm -hmm. and that's why um, I've offered myself to help other mm. people in mm. this society. Mm. Yeah. You have how many students in total? Uh, we are currently hitting around 20, 20 students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doing from, well. yeah mm. from one, from four, mm -hmm. and uh, I can say majority are not able to pay their fees, mm -hmm. but uh, only few can raise their fees. But we believe along the way, God in heaven will provide. Mm. Yeah. Where do you see this school in five years? Uh, that's a good question. I love that. Mm. Uh, as a school, we have a vision. Mm. Uh, our vision, our our long-term vision is mm. to establish a university. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th that's what motivates us. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I, look, I really look upon at uh, Mount Kenya University. Mm. When I look at the owner, how he began, mm. and whether it is now the biggest university in the, in, in the world, mm -hmm. and uh, we believe that one day this school will become a university. Mm. So, in the next five years, mm. I know uh, God will provide a way, both the land, mm. have good inf infrastructures. Mm. For now, you pay rent. Now we are paying rent, mm -hmm. but uh, we are trusting God. It's how much per month? Per month, uh, uh, seventy thousand. Oh, seventy thousand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are trusting God for a land, for a piece of land? Yes. Uh -huh. So that maybe I can, if I get a land, I can put there my structures, and I know with that the burden will not be big. Mm. And for that, I'll be able to help so many children. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm also limited. Mm. I, 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 I really want to help people. Mm. But now again, the burden of paying the rent and paying teachers mm. becomes too much. Becomes harder. Yeah. You have how many teachers? I'm um, having a staff of 12 teachers, mm -hmm. uh, the secretary, nine, nine teaching staff around three, mm -hmm. so total of uh, around five, uh, 15 mm -hmm. workers mm -hmm. in this institution mm -hmm. whom we have to pay every month. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you are able to pay them well? Uh, I can say along the way go intervene mm -hmm. and that I am able to pay them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But some, we, 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 we find a way out. Mm -hmm. I have to go outside my working mm. the school, I get money other places mm. for my own pocket, for mm. other places that I can pay them. Mm. Because the money from school can't cater mm. their salaries. Mm. Yeah. Maybe yeah, some will, will wish out there might watch this video. What can you tell them they might be willing to support the school, to support the students? Just tell them something. Wow. Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, I know Kenya and the world at large uh, it, uh, Kenya is a land that is blessed with people with great heart. 
I call upon anybody who is watching us that if you have a heart of helping the needy, kindly join us. You can reach us, you can call us, or you can reach through the long TV so that we are able to join our hands mm. so we can help so many children mm. who are needy in mm. the society. Mm. So there are so many organizations in Kenya like uh, so, uh, Mpesa Foundation, Equity, mm. KCB Foundation, mm. and other people with good heart outside mm. there. Mm. And above all, the president of Kenya, mm. uh, who, is, who believe in bottom up. Mm. I believe our school is an example of bottom up. Mm. Uh, wherever, if you are watching, uh, you know, uh, God can touch you, the governor from Nairobi County, mm. and any other person who is watching. Mm. I believe that uh, if we hold our hands together, we are going to change mm. the lives mm. of people mm. according to the word of God. Yes, yeah. amen. amen. And the aim is to change the lives of people. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you so much, Mualimo, for the good job that you are doing. Mm -hmm. May God enlarge you. May God remember you. Mm -hmm. And we hope that uh, you'll get someone out there who will... Uh, we will hold your hand eh? yeah, on to this journey. Mm -hmm. And guys, William Meskia, he is the director. Ambaye amekuwa mwalimu wa Daniel Moli. Amemshika mkono hadi akamaliza form form. And uh, Daniel is with him. Bado anafunza kwenye hiyo shule. Maybe you are out there. Unaweza taka kuwa pa support yako. Just support them. Maybe you can just give them your number. Uh, my number is 0729. Two double five six forty. Mm. That's our my number. If mm. you call that number, you'll be able to reach me, mm. and I know God will bless you. Mm. As maybe I end up also want to appreciate our school chaplain, mm. Apostle Mshindi, who is part of this school, helping us have the spiritual, mm. and all other people who are helping me to run the, the vision. Mm. Thank you so much, Alango TV, mm. for the sacrifice. Mm. May the Lord en enlarge your territories mm. and bless you so much mm. that you may expand. Mm. Amen. Thank you so much uh, for Jalango TV team. Thank you for watching our videos. I've been your host here, Eddie Max, and I'm with my director behind the camera, Director Daya. Stay tuned.